Hey my friends. Hope everyone is doing well. Before we start I must warn you guys this is going to be the ugliest thing you see today. Would you believe if I tell you there is a parasite which can change its sex? Not only that, it eats tongues. You must be thinking. Tongue eating, sex changing what the heck? Yes! All of that is true. Take a look at this picture. Now you must be thinking are you kidding me? This is just the fish isn't it? No my friends take a closer look at its mouth. Can you see the cheeky little bastard? Meet my little friend Simma the Exigua. That thing in there is an isopod. Not just an isopod, it's a tongue eating isopod. Tongue eating isopod is a weirdo. It survives on drinking blood of fish. Yes it's a marine vampire. The parasite begins the invasion process by swimming inside to the gill of a fish and then attaches itself to the gill. The parasite resides itself in the gill until the maturation process is completed. Eventually when the young tongue lice has developed, the parasite changes its sex from male to female. Once the process is completed the female detach itself from the gill and sneak into base of the tongue where she thinks is the best place to call home. There she uses her strong hind legs to secure permanent residency on the tongue. Finally it is dinner time. The ugly little parasite pierces through the flesh and starts sucking blood using its front three pairs of legs. As the parasite grows, less and less blood reaches the tongue causing the tongue to wither away and finally it falls off. The parasite then replaces the tongue by attaching its own body to the muscles of the tongue stub. Its favorite dish is snapper, but they have been found on seven other fish species as well. There are 380 different species of these little blood suckers. They typically grow 3 to 4 centimeters in length. This may sound horrifying. However this process doesn't kill the fish. On the contrary the fish simply adapt and start using the tongue eater as a normal tongue. The parasite remains there permanently feeding on blood and bits of mucus that passes through the mouth. Do you think this is bad? Hold your breath. The worst is yet to come. The parasite still needs to reproduce. Now the female parasite is fully grown and ready to reproduce. If there is any male parasites are hanging out in the gill chamber, they will sneak to the mouth and mate with the female parasite while she is still playing the role of the tongue. What a shameless creature. Yes first it invaded the fish's mouth then eats fish's tongue until it is gone, steals food that comes through the mouth and finally had sex inside the fish's mouth. The female parasite then gives birth to a brood of male lice, which will disperse and continue the horrifying cycle again. Finally, do you want to hear the good news? This nightmarish parasite poses no threat to humans. Yes. Like, share and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.